Thanks for joining us this week on Extreme Outer Limits. We're here at Benchmark Barrels. And we've got the crew with us. We've got the owners, Ron and Barry, and then we've got the general manager, Bill. So I know some of you guys have enjoyed our episodes in the past where we've got to do some facility tours with, you know, Night Force and Burger and so on. Kind of gives you guys an in-depth look at how these products are made and, and why they are the products that they are. So I'm excited about this, guys. I mean, it's we great built to guns. Have you guys here. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, we built guns, but we don't know building barrels. So yeah, it's going to be a, an education for me, right? I mean, we, we service a lot of calls, and Barry, I understand you got to hold down the office. Somebody's got to do the work. You know? <laughs> Not everybody gets to prance around all day long. That's right. Okay, so you'll be out of here back in there in the office, and Ron, it's on you, huh? You're going to give so. us the down and dirty. I I'll mean, try. All right, and Bill, you're going to slap him and make sure he does the job right. I'm not slapping Ron. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, how we go? All right. All right, let's do it. Here, Bob, here's our uh, son and hone. Oh, uh, we got some safety glasses oh, well, coming. We need our safety glasses. Yeah, Thanks, we're Bill. on a working machine now. Yep. Thanks, Bill. You bet. Anyway, uh, this hone here, this is after our reaming process, we hone the barrels. We usually hone seven tenths to a thou to get all the reamer marks out that might be left from the reaming process. Okay. Um, what you end up with is with a perfectly round, perfectly smooth hole all right, from okay. end to end. So there's if you were lapping them, uh, by hand, you maybe have them, they may be a little tight or little spots in the end that you might not feel. But with this process, it basically, uh, in this graph, Garrett will explain, it basically makes the whole, uh, the whole perfect. So how does it, I mean, this might be a sophisticated question, but how is it identifying, or is it identifying, or is it just going until it meets that gauge, or is it specifically trying to find a spot? It has pressure sensors in the spindle that can tell how much torque is actually being oh, applied wow. to it. And uh, Garrett can explain the graph and how all this all works. Right, Garrett, he runs it every got? day. So basically the graph is, like Ron said, it's all about pressure. Uh, what you have here is you have a black line that shows in real time. You have a green line, which is basically your target pressure that I've set and then you have an orange and a red area. And so what, what's going on is the machine's trying to get to 14%, so the stones are extracting, trying to read that pressure. And as it reacts with the bore and the bore unevenness of the reamer marks, um, it'll kind of give you spikes. Um, the machine's not touching the bore now, it's just starting to right now, so you'll see some spikes, but. Okay, is that what, what you're telling me here, right, these spikes? Right, so if you can see these spikes, these are just hitting reamer marks, you know, never, who knows what, and it'll just, It'll read those and then it'll basically You can hear the sound of the machine has changed. Yeah. So each yeah. each time it pulls, it'll adapt to whatever that previous stroke what did and then it'll you know adapt to it. Even from one heat of steel to another, you might have a slight difference in when you rifle it that it might come out slightly uh, smaller or slightly larger. Well, you can fine tune this with well under under 50 million. So it's, it's just incredible the, the tolerance we can achieve with this machine. 50 million. That's a ridiculously low number. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite an investment to bring in, huh, Bill? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And it's all about picking up that QC, just really. Absolutely. It's a, it's got a tre tremendous amount of precision to our whole workflow in the final product. Yeah, I like that. I mean, like you, you know, we discussed this kind of pre the show. There's a lot of guys that can make good barrels, but it really comes down to what sets other guys apart and why we're doing business with you guys and everything else. It's trying to go that extra mile. Absolutely, we're always working our piece. hardest to make our product the best it can be. Yeah, a piece of equipment like this is amazing. All right, well, won't get too hung up on this because I know there's more to it, but yeah. this is impressive, guys.